102.7 KISS FM. LA's number one hit music station, Post Malone and 21 Savage, rock star BB Rexa coming in this morning. Did you bring your own breakfast? I brought my oatmeal. I'm trying to like, you know, get like a little fit for the Teen Choice Awards and the VMAs and the Much Music Awards. How do you say Muck Music? Much? Much. I, I think it's the Much. Yeah. So I'm trying to like, yeah. What What do you What do you have? Uh, oatmeal and oh, a Tupperware. Is boring. that what your breakfast is? I can't eat it. Like I just don't. I'm like I'm. I can't. Put stuff on it. Put fruit on it. No, Ryan. Yeah, you put blueberries in there. That's like it's just so disgusting. Look, it's like moving around. Like I don't know <laughs> how people. Lumpy. I don't know how people eat oatmeal. Like it makes me want to throw up. You know. Well, do you know that guys at the gym? And I always ask guys at the gym questions because I I see them and they look like they should be at the gym. And I say, hey, bro, what do you eat for breakfast? And they're like so excited about oatmeal. Like I get yeah. up and I have oatmeal. Yeah. I'm excited for like an omelet with onions and Are peppers. Are you foodie? Do you like food? Are you kidding me? Like that's hello. Like I gained like 20 pounds. Like there's no way that you gain 20 pounds if you're not a foodie. I am obsessed with food. I'm probably going to open a restaurant one day. Where oh. will you if you're nestled now that you're a new homeowner? If you're nestled in your your abode, yeah. where what will get you in the car and out to go pick it up and either eat at or bring home? Um, like I love the chicken parmesan at Craig's. Uh, have you had that? I have had that. It's really good. Yeah, now they have post- that's hearty. They well, <laughs> that's, that's a hello. hearty dish. It's good. <laughs> but you can order yeah. it instead of getting the pasta, like the you know the car pasta. You, you can get order the with squash. Yeah, you know. Squash. <laughs> and then if you want to be bad, but you're not really bad, you can get the um the corn, the jalapeno corn with the. With the heavy cream in it, oh, <laughs> and the butter. Stop. Back to your oatmeal. Yeah. Back to your oatmeal. Um, but you you did get a new home, didn't you? Yeah, I did. It's like so cute. It's like Sp- it was built in 1913, and it's a Spanish style or Mediterranean style. So, mm-hmm. but I'm like doing a lot of work to it. So I didn't know it. I didn't know it was so expensive. I didn't know houses are so expensive. Oh yeah, and it just gets worse. <laughs> and, and there's worse. like and there's like problems all the time. I'm like seriously. Yeah, yeah that's what you get for buying a house. Yeah. Do you like doing design? Are you an interior design <clears throat> person? I would imagine your creativity can kick in. Um, I'm actually like making the house really like beachy vibes, like very oh. like French. Like I went to Cannes and I loved the vibe there. I stayed at this hotel yeah. and it was like very like white and like so I like want to make it very like open and like. Something with light coming in. Yeah, like I'm adding like windows and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm very involved in Did the you- furniture buying. And it's very expensive too. I was like, damn. Well, you got plenty of hits coming. Did well, you see? Because I'm used to I'm used to going to like <laughs> like I'm used to going to like the cheap stores where you get like the whole set furniture with my mom and my dad growing up. And I'm like, damn, like the custom stuff is expensive. <laughs> Um, did you see, speaking of custom, do you see the custom t-shirt or sweatshirt that- Yes, that I don't young have. Tanya has? Could you, could you read that, Tanya? What's on your sweatshirt? It says, I'm a mess, I'm a loser, and the back says, I'm, I'm a, a hater, hater, I'm, I'm a, a user. user. We recognize those lyrics. I'm and what's so mess. funny is I wear this all the time. Is it comfy? It's the comfiest sweatshirt, and everybody like looks at me if they don't know the song. They're kind of like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's a Rex's song, look it up. <laughs> So, but this, this, I mean, you've said that this is like a, a real representation of you, your per- imperfections and, yeah, and all for the stuff, sure. right? Yeah, because, I mean, I don't wake up, let's be real, um, we don't wake up every day feeling perfect, you know? So, um, I have my moments when I don't want to get up and just stay in bed and eat pizza and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so, I wanted to write like a real song because I just feel like a lot of my fans are young females um, and I just want to show them like another side of pop music it doesn't have to always necessarily be so glossy and i know we want to run away from our problems and everybody has their own issues but i feel like being very honest with my lyrics um really like i get messages that are like amazing oh. like i i can't tell you like how many people like, will tell me that they, it saved their lives or they don't feel alone and that like really like gets me like in the gut you know i'm like oh man so um that's like the best feeling because you could have like a hit that's like happy and that's great but like mm-hmm. when it's something real it kind of feels like cool you know because i was like when i put on a mess out i'm like i'm either gonna have people be like this girl is crazy like you know this is too dark or whatever and then or it's like people are gonna be like oh i f- really feel this way like even moms and stuff like that you know mm-hmm. like i hear stories of them like having to take care of the kids and make food and it's like the same thing every day and my cousin like you know she's a mom she's like i don't even know what to cook anymore she's like mm-hmm. i cook the same thing so i'm like she's like i just feel like a mess i was like oh well i have the perfect song for you <laughs> <laughs> do you do you find it equally as challenge i guess not challenging but do you find it easier or less easier to write a song like this versus like a a, a big glossy pop song um, ye- it's easier because like I went in the studio and I was like kind of heartbroken by something and I kind of felt a little 
bummed out like you know when you get your heart broken a little bit uh, and then you feel like ev- kind of like oh you feel like kind of like you're not good enough or like so i walked into the studio and i was just crying like literally mascara running right and um i was with another songwriter justin Tranter, uh. and i said i'm s-, and i felt so embarrassed i'm like i'm so sorry i'm a mess because like, i didn't know what to say and he's like perfect that's the song <laughs> i was like um okay i was like i was like my mom's gonna hate this so i texted it to my mom i was like mom i wrote a song and it's called i'm a mess and she's like i already hate it <laughs> she's like i don't want the world to know like you know what I mean? she's like i want to i want people i raised to- a mess i don't want them to know that i raised a mess yeah she's like that was the ultimate she's like i want everybody to think that i raised somebody great and i was like oh whatever oh, please i love you mom um let's play it. i'm gonna do it next 102.7 kiss fm hang on bb rex and i'm a mess coming Ooh. It's BB Rex. I'm a mess I'm on Kiss with FM. Ryan. <laughs> She's FaceTiming her mom while the song's <laughs> playing on the radio. I huh? I didn't know. Damn. We just FaceTime <laughs> you when we're dancing. <laughs> All right, we got to go because we're live on the air, Mom. I got to listen. Oh, well, Mom. T- tell her it's weekdays on Kiss. <laughs> mom, weekdays on Kiss. Come on. She broke her leg. She can't leave the house. Well, she can still listen. <laughs> yeah, she can still listen on and, her app. And, and I hope and she feels I, better. I have a heart radio app. There you go. Download it today. <laughs> um, so, wait. What you have to know is that during that song... Tanya, who usually is really good with every lyric, missed a couple of lyrics, but you were singing along the best you could, and then you <laughs> FaceTime your mother just to rub that song in her face. Is that based on the story that we heard? You just FaceTime your mom and say, Mom, here's what you raised right here. Exactly. And you know what's funny? I was like thinking about us when we started headbanging to it, like at the second chorus, and I was like, wow. We have issues. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we get along so well. That song spoke to you. Yay. Yeah. But I actually, actually think it's a song that, it, it's a positive song mm-hmm. because yeah. it says everything's going to be fine. Like, I think it's, I think in life, you know, to get past like all, like, you know, your insecurities, which we all have, you know, yeah. with whatever, weight, this, that, blah, 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 all social media, everybody looks perfect. Mm-hmm. I think you got to kind of like laugh at it a little bit and laugh at yourself to like get past it, you know? You do. And that song made me feel better. Yes, Tanya? I think that for, I think one of the reasons why I love you as an artist is yeah. she's so open like literally all of your lyrics are so relatable and Thank so you. vulnerable they come straight from you there's this one song on your on your album it's called Knees Aww. I've cried so many times to that song because it's so relatable like everybody's it's basically about I'm begging you I'm on my knees begging you like if I'm not the one for you just like tell me it's yeah, so it powerful yeah I hate being in that situation and I feel it, like I'm always stuck in that every song of hers is like this and it's really it's cool by the way Marshmallow is doing a remake like a like the like a oh, dope really? Version of it. It's sick. It's really insane. Oh, yeah. Wait. She just got off her knees. <laughs> <laughs> when, to people, the when, people, when people hear it, they're like knees. They're like expecting like a da- like like a like a like a rhythmic song. You know, like right. knees. You get it? Right, yeah, it's right. a little slower. Um, down, but yeah. Yeah. it's about not with the kind of knees you think. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I don't even think I get it. So, oh please. Um, <laughs> hey, Tanya, don't we have a surprise? For